Hi, this is Brandon with Northwest Solid Rock Construction, and today we are going to replace a regular standard switch with a fading switch. The reason is, if you look at the chandelier, there are five 60 watt light bulbs in there to equal 300 watts of electricity that is flowing through these bulbs at any given time. You turn the switch on. You turn the switch off, no light, but now we have 300 watts of electricity going through the bulbs. If we switch it out for a fade switch, then we can adjust how many watts of light. So, before we do any kind of electrical work, you need to turn the breaker off. Otherwise, you will risk getting shocked, injuring yourself, starting a fire, whatever. You can throw sparks. Anyway, you need to turn the breaker off. Secondly, you want to get a tool that has rubber grips on it. Alright, now that we've turned the breaker off, we can dive right into this. Okay, super easy. Just unscrew the plate using a flathead screwdriver. Okay, I have a screw gun, just real fast. That screw's done. That screw's done. And if you notice, on the back side of this switch, there's really only two wires that we need to worry about. As long as you keep track of which, uh, where the wires are, just cut the wires off the switch. Take your wire strippers and strip back about a half inch of, of sheeting. Alright, now that we've stripped the wires, all we need to do is connect the fade switch. If you notice, there's two black wires and there's two black wires. It does not matter which wire goes to which. Okay, so let's screw these on. We need to test each connection. This is how we do it. After we screw it on, we try to pull it apart. If it doesn't come apart, the connection is good. Okay, so we're good to go. Shove everything back in the junction box. Two screws go in. Okay, get nice and lined up. Next, we have the cover plate. And last, the fade knob. Okay, after you've completed everything, go back to the breaker box and flip it on and then come back and test your fade. Okay, so any standard fade knob, you can have the full power. So just by pushing the knob, you can have full light. And all you gotta do is fade it out. You can control how many watts of electricity are coming through, and you're saving a lot of money by doing that.